how's it going? Today's video is crab fishing 101. Okay, so I find myself in quite a precarious position at the moment, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I'm gonna walk you through the gear and we're gonna do a bait as well. So, let's go. So the gear is, right, first of all we start off with the cannon. We got the BS 4000, right? Loaded with a 100 pound four strand braid, right? This is the most effective way of uh, not getting wind knots to use the BS 4000, right? And we got a, a one ounce sinker there and we got an owner triple hook. <laughs> very sharp, very strong. <laughs> we get the first cast in the water and we see what happens. So we're going to drink, right? Uh, you know where to find me at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> All it needs two or three anyway. You can use them in a session for smooth hound if they're still around. So that was it, right? No reason for distance with crabs or anything else like that, you know what I mean? Some people they're overcasting the crabs all the time. And I think that's where many beginners go wrong, right? Overcasting the crabs, right? They're just down at your feet, right? All the time, right? Basically. Sometimes you do find them at distance, like um casters fishing whales, them boys experts at this old crab fishing, you know, 60, 70 meters. No problem. They've got the gear for it though. They've got the gear for it. This is what I have, you know. So, um, Matt, Josh, Web Dog, great crab fishing lads. Anyway, am I as lucky as the boys in Wales? I don't know. I don't know. Stay tuned, fish heads. It's very important that you keep tension on the line at all times, right? So you can feel crusty, picking away at your bait, right? And you know he's on the line. And then when it's time to bring the, the crab in, you just pull slowly. You don't don't strike, don't ever strike with crabs, right? You'll miss them every time. So this most important thing is just uh, keep tension on the line. Stop it going in between the rocks and so you can feel that crusty bite. Okay, nice. I think we're on boys. Oh, he's taking me into a snag. Damn it, snagged up by a crab. Oh, here we go. We still got him. Yes, we do. Here we go. First catch of the day, crusty, and he'll do nicely. Come on up here, crusty. Oh, he's a big boy. Is it a velvet? I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> one crab I don't want to catch is a velvet, man. These things are nuts. And it's a really nice one as well. The only problem is he'll have the arm on me. Where I am now, I, I, that's a small one here. I mean, they're massive around here. I've never seen velvets this big before. They are bananas, these yokes. I don't know if I, <laughs> if I want to tangle with them. Okay, we got them. Why would you ever tangle with something like this? These things will eat the arm off you, but they seem to be quite docile now at this time of the year. So we're gonna put them in the cooler there. Anyway, so he'll do nicely for the bait. Nice velvet. Oh, oh Jesus. They're crazy oaks. Right, we won't be tangling with that lad until later. So now we're gonna do a bait. Now it's limpet season. What do you mean it's always limpet season? It's not always limpet season. Now it's limpet season, right? This is the bait, right? And not everybody knows, okay, how to get a limpet out of the shell. You don't need any tools or anything like that, right? You just stick your thumb in like that and you go around until he comes out, that's it, right? And then the limpet comes out, right? Right, so we got a few uh, limpets here ready to go. And onto the hook they go. It's just a very simple affair, right? You just hook them through the hook, that's it. Leave them dangling off there like that. Next one, and then onto the third one here, right? You want to keep your bait small, right? Because crabs have got very small mouths. <laughs> we got the next cast in the water. So next bait going in. This is where I got the first velvet. We get them down there again. Them boys pull. They really do. See if we get another one out. So right now you're probably wondering what I want the crabs for. Right, okay. It is for an experiment for um, fishing hardbacks without any elastic. That's right, without any elastic, shut up. <laughs> so that's what it's about. Something I've been thinking about for years, you know. Peter crabs are expensive. They're also hard to get your hands on, you know what I mean, at certain times of the year. And mostly I just use uh, crab for smooth hounds. And what I've noticed is, and this is with all fish, they don't like to chew their food, right? And they just swallow it. Most of them are just stuffed with like 99.9% .9 of the time with hardback crabs. One of the reasons why we use peelers is you can get them on a hook. But if you can get a hardback on a hook, right? You're good. That's what this experiment's about. That's what the crabs are about anyway. So I've been here four and a half minutes and it's bloody freezing. It's, you know, it's at least, 11 degrees right and i still haven't had another crab the thing is about fishing and especially crab fishing is you got to put the minutes in you know what i mean so if you're not catching stick it out do that half hour okay and you'll get your rewards you know what i'm saying yeah stay tuned we're on we're on <laughs> another one excellent oh, another velvet is it 
Oh, that's an ordinary one. Okay, you'll do. Oh no! Damn! Lost another one. There, by. Yes, my hooks are sharp enough. Oh! Oh, we cooked it there. <laughs> there we go. That's where they are in here. This goalie. <laughs> and we're on again. See if we can land this one. Oh, it's a weed. Oh, we got one. We got one. Velvet. Velvet. Stay on the hook, please. Yes. Oh, he's a greedy one. Oh dear. I wanted to go in the box. Maybe I should leave it open. Anyway, he's down there. We'll get him. But hopefully, he won't get me. Oh, if he gets a grip of me, I'm in deep trouble. <laughs> and also, they don't like each other very much either. <laughs> Look at him there. They're all muddy. Velvets. Nice. So I think one more and I'll be good, really. I'll just work with those two there for my experiment. Yeah, we get another bait in the water. This is last cast. The only question I want answered is it last cast crab? Let's go. So out we go again. We'll do the centrifugal force cast. Oh, that was perfectly executed. That was good job. And uh, if you want me to do a video on it, just uh, leave it in the comments, okay? No problem. So time has come to bring in the last cast. Do we get a crab? Only time will tell. So, is it last cast crusty? Is it? Yes, it is. Do we get him up? No, we don't. He came off, damn him. So, I got what I need anyway. That's it for now. As I said earlier on in the video, that this is an experiment to fish hardbacks with uh, no elastic or minimal elastic. And uh, that's going to be in the second part. So, I'm Billy. This is Billy catching crusties wherever you are in the world. Remember, I'll see you on the beach. Bye.